This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, a big word is being pushed out. Um, I hear it from a lot of my branding people. I hear it from my social media people. I hear it from just kind of the general buzz. And it's a little word that has a huge, expanding, um, universal, actually, tone. It's called amplify or amplifying. So we're going to talk about amplifying. How do we amplify you? How do we amplify your brand? How do we amplify your book? How do we amplify your expertise? Basically, how do we get you really rocking and rolling beyond anything you would ever imagine? That's what Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing is all about. I'm Judith Bryles, and I have a great guest today, Mitchell Levi, who is really the, he's a, he's a CEO, he's a thought leader architect. He hangs out at Think Aha, and he calls himself the chief Aha instigator. So uh, he, over his website would probably be the Aha amplifier, and uh, Mitchell's going to clue us in on some of that. But we're going to get into how do we, as authors, we're experts, get recognized as the critical thought leaders in our own expertise that the media finds us, that speaking meeting planners find us, that people who want to engage your services find us. That's what today is all about. Mitchell himself is a, an Amazon bestselling author. He's got over 40 business books behind him and uh, he he's he's just involved with a huge amount of things we'll dive into them during the hour but why don't we just go ahead and and bring him on hi mitchell how are you today i'm great judith how are you doing i'm great great what's okay. new in the amplifying world <laughs> well I, you know i love your the the, the recorded intro because your guests are supposed to bring your listeners to the not the next level but the next next level Absolutely, and uh, and that's what I promise we'll do. We'll talk about uh, we'll talk about that word is bandied around often, and, and and I use it profusely. So I'm happy to talk about what does amplification mean, and and, and let's let's start with a definition. Sure, it, it let's really do that. Is, yeah. oh, it, it goes back to like the old PR world, right? It's it's how can you amplify something? But here's where it's much different than paid advertising or a billboard banner. The amplification today, what people listen to, they listen to what their friends are saying. They listen to their trusted advisors. So the amplification is how can you get your influencers, the people who are influencing the people you want to reach, how do you get them to talk about you and amplify your message in the marketplace? Whether it's traditional or social media, that's really what amplification means. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, uh, it's getting the buzz really buzzing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know, there's a part of it. it, it it's probably a respin of the word of mouth marketing. Uh, you remember that? That uh, mm -hmm. was a trend about 10 years ago. And, and, uh, and Andy Cernoff did a great job of pulling that, you know, pulling that forward and doing a lot of interesting things with it. And it's still around. Uh, but it's really amplification as a buzzword just means how do I take this message and communicate it effectively? But, but if all you do is stand on the rooftop and shout it, it's not going to work. Right, so it's all the things that go behind really making it work. So, so shouting from the rooftop, which is what was a common phrase that we all did, get up and shout from the rooftop, is really kind of like what we we used to refer to as BB marketing. You just get out there and you shoot it anywhere and everywhere, and you hope to God something hits. And <laughs> that, but it, is that correct? Did I get that right, well, Mitchell? No, you, you did that great. And, and by the way, you you you've been around long enough to know that. That's the way book publishing used to work, right? You'd have a small handful of people who, who basically own the world, whether it's the media or it's the publishers. And when they said, hey, this is, the, this is the right book and this is the right author, 
they they almost almost always they became instant successes or they increased their success. Uh, but mm-hmm. that that world, the democratization of the platform called a, a, a megaphone or a microphone has has expanded so so widely that you just don't have those big names anymore. Which which is uh, good news, I think, and it, because it's good news for a lot of us, what, what we call middleist writers. You know, we're not the big boys. We're not. The uh, um, only in in my business writing days, Tom Peters was the big boy on the block. Um, today, it would be Daniel Pink and 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 that crowd. But mm-hmm. that it's it gives a lot of people with new ideas or to have taken old stuff and have great new twists and things much much more of an opportunity. I think. Yes. Yes, and, and by the way, you, you said something very interesting, and, and it's, it's, that's the, one of the things that people have sort of called me and had me talk a lot about is mm-hmm. repurposing content, right? Because you said, well, you know, we, you know, a lot of people have new ideas, but, but I think the ideas that are worth hearing and worth sharing is not just originated content. It's not just stuff. You don't have to stand, you know, go behind a room, uh, sequ- you know, sequester yourself for two years, write, write, spend a thousand hours and write that beautiful book. But rather, if you know who your target audience is, audience is some of the content you create should be original. Me- much of it can be, you know, aggregated and curated from others. And as long as you give appropriate attribution and you're giving a spin to a world, to a specific audience, that's pretty exciting stuff. And that's what's happening today that's, that's, more, that's unique and, and more prevalent than it's ever been. And and again, as I keep saying, that's the great news. I mean, so much has changed in, in the old in the old days. It was simpler because you only had a couple of channels. Now you have a gazillion channels to get things out and shout out to. In fact, I just had a um, I, let me give a shout out to a couple of my clients. I'm so excited that the Indie Fab Awards, the finalist all were announced um, today. Indie Fab is is comes from Forward Magazine. I don't know if you know anything about Forward Reviews Magazine, uh-huh. Mitchell, but they're the they're they are really the exclusive for print. That's printed magazine that is for the independent publishing market, and that they have these big awards that they announce actually at the American Library Association. They have they're very tied into the hip with them, and um, I'm I was honored last year that my author you book was one of the book of the years in the writing publishing area. So that was a hot shout out for me. But the three of my clients, Steve Snyder, who has a wonderful book called Shot Down, uh, the, the true, true story of uh, Captain Howard Smith and the crew of the, uh, the, the, of the B-17 Susan Ruth. And he writes in the war military area. And then Pat Morgan who is just phenomenal. It, it, at the age of 55, she was identified by Time Magazine as an up-and-coming youngster, which I loved. Oh, so cool, and right. Isn't that a kick? She knows more about the homeless than you can imagine and what she has done. And she was actually, um, uh, you know, right hands of some of the top any name-dropper names in the uh, Democratic Party um, when Clinton was in office when she was back there. And and um, Pat just picked up as a finalist in the autobiography memoir for that. And then oh, Linda fantastic. Spangle in Health for her book of Make Friends with a Scale. And Pat's book's name is uh, The Concrete Killing Fields, which identifies where most of the homeless die. So um, there was just, uh, it, it, that's a huge shout out. So one of them sent me earlier, okay, so if I you know, create the press release, where do I start? And I said, well, why don't you go to Press Release, and everyone keep this in mind. Here's a website for you to know about, PressReleasePR.com, PressReleasePR.com. It's a freebie, and it really has huge national exposure. So you start out that shout-out at Amplify, which is the word of the hour. (laughs) Amplify it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so, right. oh, so, uh, yeah, so I know Forward Magazine, and congrats to, to, to you and your authors. We, um, I think when you and I talked a, a while back, one of the things I did in 2005, I started a book publishing company. And so we now have, 
I think, uh, at least three or four different imprints and series, and we've published uh, over 400 titles, you know, uh, 250 physical and, and 150 E. So, yeah, it's a market I play in. <laughs> which, which is an important market that one can play in. In fact, we should talk, talk to you about amplifying the extravaganza, Mitchell. You know, mm-hmm. we, should, we want to amplify it, and we want to get everybody here. Um, so let's just get into some some of your crit- things. So that maybe I should just ask you because people always say, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a, a young upstart. Hey, I've only published thirty one books. You've gotten forty out. So how in the heck did you do 40, 40 books? <laughs> you know, it it after a while the numbers get kind of silly, um, um, but it is still impressive. The, the one thing that that the listener audience should think about is I have a, I have a platform and it's absolutely worth looking at. It's called the Aha Amplifier. Um, you could either go to Aha Amp Aha A M P dot com or Aha Amplifier dot com. It'll both redirect you in the right place. And what we call a social media enabled ebook is a book which has 140 Twitter sized quotes in it. Right. So I'll repeat that. It's a social media enabled ebook. It's got 140 quotes. And then those quotes, when you're in the amplifier, those quotes are easily shared on social media. So they're easily shared on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. And so what's, what's fascinating is your ability as an, as, as an author to experiment with new things, to do things that you hadn't done before. And if it's not going to take you 100 hours or 1,000 hours to write, um, and it's going to take a lot less, and we can talk about the lot less, it's really interesting because you can now experiment. You know, instead of writing just the blog post, you can write a blog post in an AHA book, put it out in the marketplace, start amplifying it, start asking your advocates to start amplifying it, and see what happens. And if it doesn't resonate, maybe it's not the right area to spend more time on. If it does resonate, then you spend more energy. So for me, um, I've got one of the things that I have for, for those that are listening, I've got a, a show called Thought Leader Life. And that's thoughtleaderlife.com. You know what? I need to have you hold that thoughtleaderlife.com because we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back right and we're going to find out what we're going to do with (laughs) thoughtleaderlife.com. This is Judith Browse. My guest is Mitchell Mitchell Levi. And you're listening to Offer You, your guide to book publishing. Mm This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Many of us have dreamed of writing a book. Some of us even have. Then the hard work starts. You'll need an editor. Who will design the cover or typeset the pages? Who will format the ebook? If you're a business owner, consultant, or coach with a serious message and expertise to share, the team of experts at 1106 Design can guide you through the maze. They've helped more than a 1,000 authors create top-quality books and avoid the not-so-reputable self-publishing companies. Learn more at 1106design.com. Then call Michelle at 602 866-3226. 1106-DESIGN. Is there a book in you or another author you will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good with it? If you already have a book out, you'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author, it's not. Join Author U today through its website at authoru.org. Follow Author U on Twitter at Author U and on Facebook at Author U, where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily. Author U, where the author goes to become seriously successful. Reaching out from 
the heartland of the United States with quality programming. This is Tokinet Radio. First impressions are everything in the world of book publishing. Whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, you have to. You weren't going to believe the idea that I've come up with, with with the help of Mitchell Levy, but um, but we'll we'll share with that because I'm really jazzed right now. I'm going to actually put it in process why we're on the air, which is a hoot. Um, but it is he was talking about his thought leader, um, the amplifier, um, and and what that's all about. So come back to that and loop it back, and then we'll go into what we're up to here. I obviously have way too many brands. So I have a brand called... You Thought do Leader have Life. too many brands. <laughs> <laughs> but but so, you have um, 40 books. Wait a minute, Mitchell. <laughs> You've got 40 books. You're entitled to, well, a maybe co- to a couple maybe, tw- maybe 20 brands. But, you know, <laughs> it, 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 you know right, are, are you going to be the I new poster for that. ADD? I mean, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like doing different things, right? I'm entertained yeah. by a lot of different ideas. And I often like to find... Somebody who has an interesting idea, and if I've got a couple different platforms that could power them, we'll create a partnership. And, you know, if the first client is something we do together and we have fun, if we get a second client, we then have an ongoing partnership. And if we don't get a second one, we shake hands and go, hey, that was fun. Um, so, that, as a matter of fact, that's how I started Thought Leader Life. So if you go to thoughtleaderlife.com, what you'll see is I've been interviewing for 2014. I interviewed a thought leader once a week for a half hour on Google, Hang- Google Hangouts. And what we would do is we'd stream live on YouTube. We would take the video file and also put it on SlideShare. I'd strip out the audio, or my team would strip out the audio and put it on as a podcast. So that would go on iTunes and the existing podcast channel. Um, we would do a blog post. And then for every half-hour interview, I'd pull out 40 or 50 quotes. Now, when I say the word I, it's really my team. Um, And so at the end of four interviews, we have four audio files, four video files, four blog posts, and enough quotes for an AHA book. So one of the things that now happens, because I I do this monthly, and what I'm doing in 2015, I'm finding a co-host to work with me for a month. So now one of the things that happens is automatically – I write a new book every month because I'm doing four interviews with experts on a particular topic. So it's now yeah, I've got a motion in place uh, where it's relatively easy to now pull together good quality content. And in today's world where there's a seven-second attention span, um, AHA books are pretty cool. Okay. I, I love the idea. Love the idea. All right, so we're going to, the aha, the quick shirt, well, you know, that's that's where we are, Mitchell. I mean, people are looking at those little nuggets, these little sound bites. It's, it's, it's one of the things when I look at, uh, when I mentioned the three books that were finalists for the Indie Book of the Year, um, that, you know, I feel real excited about for them, and I know they're doing tap dances, that... Um, that a lot of it has to do besides the you know the quality uh, you know I, I did yesterday actually I did a live webinar on how to create killer book titles um, and that when you're going through that that when people are buying the book 
It's the title first. It's the grabber. It's the cover number two. It goes to the back cover, which is included in the house. And then they read the flaps. If there's a dust jacket or a paper with the flaps, then what they do is they read a, a, a first couple of paragraphs and they look at the interior design. Is it easy on my eyeballs? You know, can I chew on it a little bit or is it just line after line after line after line? Oh, my God, after line of text. Because the way people read are in bits and bytes. And what you're creating with these little quotes, your aha moments, is you're just, you're, it's all juice throughout with bits and bytes. I can chew on it. I can laugh about it. I can ponder about it. I can, you know, mm, what can I do with this idea? Um, so it's it's very, you know, it's very contemporary. And I think, let me, let me just add on that, because you, you said that perfectly. Oh, and, and thank you. Add, <laughs> no, no, it was, it was beautifully said, but, but let, me, let me drive it home. If you create an aha book with 140 quotes, and that is a book on, and you can focus on a very narrow topic, and you do that, which really interesting, it doesn't matter that every reader reads the book from beginning to end. Right, because what what happens is you have 140 opportunities to, to capture their attention with yes. one aha message, one thing that makes them think and act and act and do something differently, and if that message ends up being a call to action, i.e., come and visit your extravaganza, or come and buy my book, or go to this website, or go to this YouTube, or do my consulting, if that aha message encourages the reader to do something else. Well, then, does it matter if they read the entire book? And the answer is no. Right. So there you go. And, and, and people like those little quote books. You know, my little quote book, right. which is kind of a, a neat little book, the Snappy Sassy Salty book, um, is, uh, uh, what was a book that is, it's got over 250 quotes. Heck, I've already got all the quotes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, we'll we'll, we'll whip up snappy sassy into an aha moment too. Um, but the thing is, I can filter in with what our idea is that you and I came up with um, on the break time. But that you can take those, and you're t- you can take other people's quotes. You know, they don't have to be your own personal quotes. Other people's quotes, those aha things that you love just to chew on. It's very cool. It's very cool. Yeah, or, kind of, or ideas, kind of, or, or those gems yeah. that you come up. I mean, all of you're listening in. You've already written a book. You're in the process of writing a book. Um, you may be. You may have an old book that's limping along. And how can I repurpose it? This is the way to do it. To give it new life and goose. And you know what? People may very well go back and get the full blown version. Right, right. That's one thing that's super important. If if, if somebody reads just one or two, or let's say they get to read three of your aha moments, and they go, wow, this guy made me think, right? And that takes a, less than a minute, right? So Because it's seven right. seconds each aha moment. So, and all of a sudden, they go, wow, that made me think. That made me think the entire day. What else has that person done? Right? That's the natural question that comes from it. More importantly, and this is where the word will tie back into the word amplification, if somebody reads one of your one of your aha messages, and they go, "Wow, this is really interesting. I want to share it with my network." Well, that's how marketing is done today. Because now they click a button, and within a couple seconds, they've shared it on either Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Google Plus, and their network has had an opportunity to potentially also get exposed to that aha, aha message. And that, if you can do that enough, that's where you significantly amplify your messages. And, and and that's what's exciting. And so, I you know now that I think when people really get this, they see it. They're thinking, man, I could, I could. Uh, I've already got three books I've written. I could easily have six. <laughs> I, mean, I could I could repurpose everything, which is very well, it, cool. I I kind of I kind of like it a lot because you could be very very focused on your topic matter. Right. If you if you're writing the book that that you ultimately want to either self publish or get to a, a New York publisher, you know that you've got to make it broad enough, and there are rules you have to live by. If you're writing 140 quotes for an aha, I mean, we we actually have a book on how to how to do a book title, right? Um, but you could focus. You could actually say, and we don't have one, how to do a book title for nonfiction books. You know, how to do a book title for, you know. Um, 
uh, <laughs> and you now fill in the blank. And I was going to do a couple of things that I probably shouldn't say on the air. So we'll just say uh, oh, you can fill whoa. in the blank of, <laughs> of different. Well, I just thought all of a sudden I caught myself and said, hey, this is not a good thing to say. So, But you could fill in the blank of any particular topic. Right. So often I love the word, you know, social media and there's so many social media books. But what about doing aha books, social media for dentists, social media for doctors, social media for and you just fill in the blank. Absolutely. And, yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great idea. So I love that idea. So I'm all for that. So we'll take that and we'll run with it. And then we'll take it, and um, I, I'm all for it. So let me tell everyone what we're going to do. I've, I've sent out an email to uh, literally as we are talking. As Mitchell was talking, I finished it up. I wrote it all up. Um, I've given them point one, two, three, call to action. This is when I need it by. Mitchell's going to hang in, and we're giving a shout-out to Lori Ruff um, for introducing Mitchell to me. And we will yeah, – uh, fantastic. We'll, there you go. And Lori's one of our speakers. She is going to be talking about how to amplify your branding um, at the extravaganza on Saturday, the, the uh, 9th. So we're going to take this and we're going to run with it. And we're going to see if everyone gets their act together and gets them to me. And then Mitchell, on my next break, is going to tell me what I need to do to do it. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm assuming, that, number one, I'm sitting with 250 quotes of my own. I also collect other authors and writers quotes that I love, love, love. I can do this is a no-brainer and probably whip up maybe five, at least five books myself. Um, with my own material, but it's much more fun to be inclusive. You know, if you're going to do quotes of others, you can certainly quote yourself. You can certainly do a combination or you can do only other people. It's up to you. But I think this is a great idea to position yourself as that kind of thought leader in a branding arena. And, and that's what Mitchell's talking about. Did I, did I, am I on the right track here, Mitchell? <laughs> you're, you're filling in the words that I'd say myself, but it's better because your audience knows you. It likes you and trusts you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. So, so we've jumped in and we've got some things going here. So I, I'm kind of jazzed. Um, and, and here we're coming up to our next break here very quickly. So as we come into this, we're, when we come back out, I want uh, Mitchell to kind of really go along because he has the whole thing of how to do a book in two to eight hours. Does that excite you? It excites me. We'll be right back. I'm Judith Bryles. You're listening to Author You, your guide to book publishing. Publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing, Judith Bryles, we will provide you with discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. With quality programming, this is Tokinet Radio. When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your time 
title, Enhancing the Promotion of Your Book During Infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing question. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, this hour is going to fly by. I can tell we're halfway. And um, I always like to, one of my sponsors, of course, is AuthorU. And AuthorU.org has its big three-day event coming up, May 7th through 9th, where we have over 25 top speakers we have over 30 publishing exhibitors that provide services from cover and design to distribution to marketing to um, to getting your best book reviews from selling foreign rights, etc. All will be there ready to talk with you, to brainstorm with you, to support you, to help you. You will walk away with so much information. On Friday night, we have an extraordinarily special event. Jimmy Wayne will be there, who is a New York Times bestseller. He is a huge advocate for the foster uh, system, especially when it goes if it goes wrong, how to correct it, and um, he will be telling his journey as he walked across America to support foster kids. He will tell how uh, the New York Times journey, and he's just been on it in the last few months uh, with his the beautiful walk, and he will be singing to us. So it'll be a magical, magical night. So be there. All the information is authoru. dot org. If you click on it and um, for our listeners, here's a special way to save $200. Register as an author you member and then use the coupon code AU, capital A, capital U, 2015, AU 2015, and you'll save $200. So be there. May 7th through 9th, airfares are fairly inexpensive to Denver, Colorado right now. Okay. And Mitchell, you need to come. <laughs> You need to come play with us. All right. All right. So we we tease them on how they can do a book in two to eight hours. Love that idea. So um, yes, that's a great tease. So let's talk about let's talk about 140 quotes and how do you gather that content, right? And so there's a couple different ways. I'm going to throw out five terms. We'll talk about a couple of them. You could crowdsource the content. You could, individ- you could interview individuals, you could repurpose existing content, or you could curate or aggregate um, content that's already out there. So let me talk about Kevin Kreitman. Kevin is a PhD in, in uh, organizational development. Um, I was talking at a, to a bunch of consultants, and I told them about the concept, and I said, hey, listen, I, I'd love to have somebody write the book over the weekend. And she looked at me and said, I will do that. And so we, we, we charge 100 bucks to put a book on the system. That's our cost for cover design, copy edit, content edit. And I said, Kevin, I will waive this fee for you if you do it over the weekend. She actually wrote her book in eight hours. Now, what she did is she repurposed existing content. She looked at all her previous PowerPoint presentations and, and work that she had done with clients, and she just pulled quotes out of that. Um, so she did it in eight hours. We ended up publishing 24 hours later, and she picked up her first client 10 days after that. Oh, I love that. Love, 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 love that. So, so repurposing means you just take some of your existing content. Uh, mm-hmm. We have a book um, we just published from one of our publishing companies, 42 Rules, and it's 42 Rules for Gamification. And it's particularly focused on the association marketplace. Well, one of the things that we did is, is um, when the book was close to being published, uh, we took a PDF of the content, we sent it out to our ghostwriters, and we pulled out um, 140 quotes from the book. 
right? So if you, if anybody who's listening to this that has a book, being able to pull out 140 quotes is relatively easy. So now we have a, a aha amplifier book on gamification, and the goal there is supposed to whet your appetite. You read a couple of these aha messages, you want more, you go to either go to the 42 Rules website or you go to Amazon and you pick up a copy. And so typically, I mean, if you ghostwrite, then it's very easy because somebody else is doing it for you. Um, one of the other ways, and this is where the two hours come in, the crowdsourcing concept. Um, mm -hmm. So an example, I was talking with a, a friend of mine, Willis Turner. Willis runs SMEI. It's the Sales and Marketing Executives International. They've got 30,000 sales and marketing execs around the world. And we were talking about a week and a half, maybe two weeks before Valentine's Day. And I said, Willis, we got to do something together. You know, let me do something for you for SMEI. Let's pick a holiday. And, and I just I looked at the calendar. I said, you know, Valentine's Day is around the corner. And he goes, Mitchell. You know, all of a sudden he gets super passionate. And he goes, Mitchell, you know, salespeople are one of the most loneliest professions. I go, really? Perfect. So I created a Google form. So, and it was a one-question Google form, and it basically said, "If how would you?" And, and I'm paraphrasing because I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But as a salesperson, how could you treat your wife particularly well on Valentine's Day? I'm sorry, I didn't say wife. I said wife, but that was bad. How can you treat your spouse particularly well on Valentine's Day? Or so your partner? Up, or your partner? Yeah, yeah exactly. Or your, thank or you. your lover? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and we ended up enough responses, um, total out-of-pocket out time for Willis and I, I don't know, probably two hours-ish, because we had enough responses, you then spend your time sort of curating the content, right? And so you're looking at it, you get it, and it's kind of more in the, you're acting in the content, you know, editor role, because you want, you want the tone to be consistent, you know, that sort of thing. You want the, the phrasing to do well. You want the book to tie together. But we, um, by the time we had the idea, three days later, we published the book and then went back to his audience and say, here it is. Please share. And so it's, it's one of those things that is relatively easy. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't demean the power of the content. Uh, but it's relatively easy to put content together, whether or not you are, um, you know, repurposing, um, aggregating, curating, crowdsourcing, um, or one of the things I like, and now this takes a little bit longer, I, I like interviewing as well, right? Because mm -hmm. when you're the author of a book on a particular topic, you know, how many doors can you open? Almost any, right? If you say, hey, I got a publisher, here's the book I'm doing, let's talk. And so it's a, it's a nice way to go out and meet people. It's very cool. It, yes, it's very cool on that. You know, and when you're talking about Valentine's Day, my friend Greg Godek wrote A Thousand and One Ways to Be Romantic. I, I guess I would go to that book first and see what I could pull and oh, give him credit for it and run with it. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know if you knew one. about no, that no, book, but. No, no, you know. but if you did that, I, you know, I, that's where it gets, it gets funny when you're, if you pull too much stuff from one book. Oh, location, no, you can't. You, no, no, you, you can't. Ask for but you could, you could do yeah. a couple and quote him. Um, yes. and oh, you have absolutely. to be very, you're right. You have to be very, very careful. I mean, he sold over a million copies. He was so successful with that book that he actually had bought a Winnebago and drove around the country with it, you know, with the book cover uh, uh, screened across it and actually drove up in front of ABC to do Good Morning America with Joan London. Can you Holy imagine? Cow. Oh, that sounds like <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> that's great. Think big. You got to think big. Well, I think in this case, you know, pick, if we're an AHA amplifier book, pick a topic, pick a holiday, pick, a, pick an event that is going to get amplified just because of the event. Now, pick an audience you want to reach and then drive content, specifically event-focused at that audience. It gets really interesting. I mean, the, the world opens up in terms of the types of things you can now think about and do. So what you're saying is pick a holiday or event. I mean, we've got, what, St. Patty's Day coming up here in another Absolutely. week. So you could you could take your expertise and then uh, become a leprechaun or something 
and and tie it all in with with a variety of things. For example, I'm thinking here in town, I always like to give a shout out to Mike Sawoya because he, what he does is he he do, goes through four major holidays a year. He's an attorney in town, and for and, and driver safety is his big cause. And so St. Patty's Day, Fourth uh, of July, Labor Day, and New Year's that he puts out a deal and he will pick up the taxi ride coming home from the bar because he doesn't want you to drive. He will pick up a taxi ride if it's in the Denver metro area. All you have to do is send in the receipt, and he pops out over $20,000 a year paying for people's cab oh rides. Oh, my God, that is so cool. It's very oh, by the cool. way, it, it's, gotten almost a li- it's gotten a lot easier if he used Uber. There you go. Right, because he could just tell the, the you know, Uber guy, hey, listen, uh, anyone who's driving in there drunk, feel free to send me the bill. <laughs> yeah, be, well, it'd be less expensive for Mike, but that's for sure. But the but the other, oh, the, yeah, that's a great idea. Just call Uber. Uh, but but he's, you know, his attitude, it doesn't matter who you call. It doesn't matter who you call, I'll pay the taxi. Yeah, no, I love it. So there's no strings attached. You just have to be in the Denver metro area. So if you're listening to this in Phoenix, it won't work <laughs> as, as, as we go along. All right. So um, so we've got those four key areas in, in how to do write the book. They're crowdsourcing, the interviewing, repurposing, and then create raw from scratch. Is, did I get those right? Yes. All right. Yes. So. In in uh, when you talk about the aha amplifier, so why don't you give the website again where they go to so they can play with this? Sure. So it's it's aha amplifier dot com mm-hmm. to um, to sign up. So right now it's all free. We um, oh sure love if, free. I know. I know. Well, I'll put a small caveat. So originally when I when I approached the system, I approached it from a book publisher perspective. So the platform itself is free, and 20% of the books are free, and 80% of the books will cost a buck ninety-nine. So relatively inexpensive. What I realized when we got to about 10,000 curated quotes in the system, because right, that's mm-hmm. one of the issues that people have as thought leaders is I need to share content, and where do I get it? Mm-hmm. When we got to about 10,000 quotes in the system, I realized that the real value of the system is not to, to publish and have a single book but to have access to all of the quotes that are relevant to you. So we'll end up putting a subscription model in place at some point in time, and then you get access to all content. So we already have 21,000 quotes in the system, and at the moment, a little over 1,800 users. Um, and so, so, so Mitchell, on the website, yeah. are there examples of what books actually look like? Yes. All right. With that, we're going to come right back for our final deal because I still have a lot of questions because I'm kind of jazzed. <laughs> I hope you are because this is a great way to expand what you have with what you probably never even thought about. I'm Judith Bryles. Mitchell Levy is my guest. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing, and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303 885-2207. That's 303-885-2207. Or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. Total Printing 
systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from one to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four color high speed inkjet printing, a cost effective way to introduce color into your short run titles. We of course offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in house from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print on demand facility, streaming browser based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1 800 465 5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. So in our last section with us is Mitchell Levy, who is the brains behind the AHA amplifier and creating AHA books. Like I had an aha moment on how I could create one of these to drive it to support the extravaganza. So what I need is um, I, I need to, and we have several more questions that we want to ask Mitchell in, in our last 12 plus minutes, but that I think everyone is trying to figure out, get their head around, what are the costs of this? So Mitchell, if you will go over those again. So the platform is basically a freebie to access it. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So when do our other costs come in? And that's and by the way, it, it, and at some point in time, we'll we'll end up charging. Uh, sure. I'm thinking about ten bucks a month, and, and we'll probably the first ten thousand users will give them a fifty percent discount. But and we'll probably grandfather somehow some people who are there today. So it's good to get on now. Um, the the only other cost is we currently charge a uh, hundred dollars to put a book on the system. Um, and that is our out-of-pocket cost. So we, we will do a cover design. So if you're thinking about a book, a book has a cover, um, you, it, and it has 140 twitter size quotes. And we will make sure that we, we do a copy edit and content edit of those quotes. Because I want to make sure at the moment that we've got good curated content. If anyone stumbles upon you or if you want to use other people's content or if you share this platform with other people, you want them to be <laughs> proud of what you've done. So that's, that's the, that's the $100. Well, I, I don't know how you can do it for that. Like, since I do content editing, I don't know how you can do that. Oh, I'm that. not making money. That's my okay. cost. I'm just passing it along. All right. So, so that's, that's the one step. That includes that. And then what's next? So if you the, – the easy – so I'll go through the steps, but uh -huh. on the website itself in the upper right-hand corner, there's a button that says Become an Author. And then it brings okay. you to a web page where we actually have a seven-step process. So if you're a list okay. person and you want to read stuff as a list, okay. yep. um, you could do that. Or we, you could click on the graphic and you could see it in the graphical representation. Got it. Um, so, so step one is you, you submit. We, it's a Word document. I call it the four-question document. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's as close to a book proposal that you can do in a short period of time. So it's what's your name, what's your bio, uh, what is the book going to be about, and do you have any ideas about marketing, right? So what we're really looking for is we're looking for enough information when we do a content edit that we look at the content in relation to those questions. Got we it. also take the content, and that's used as metadata to do a little bit of marketing of the book. Got it. Um, once you do that, then um, the next step is there's a spreadsheet you could download, and the spreadsheet... Uh, we've got a formula in it so it can keep track of the 140 characters. And you start, so we'll give you feedback on the Word document. Um, you start filling out the spreadsheet. Um, there's an opportunity at that point in time to go to the shopping cart, in which case you're paying the $100 to get the book on mm -hmm. the system. You also, at that time, some people want super customized covers. Um, so we'll do that. Once again, we're doing that for 100 so almost nothing. I'm just about to put on a 
service where we get some amplification, right? So you could pay for a little bit of marketing and you get amplification of the content you put there. So it's not there yet, but we'll get that sometime soon. We'll add a couple more features there. Okay. I, I have a quick question. So what if yeah. you have like a cover designer you work with and it's tied with your own brand? Can you just bring the cover with you? Absolutely. Beautiful. And so okay. there's a location where we actually specify the uh, actually, I was going to say we specify the specifications, but where we list the specifications for the cover. So, yeah, I, I'm very excited about people who have a brand and want to maintain their brand, and they're using the AHA amplifiers as an opportunity to amplify their brand in the marketplace. Okay. Um, and so then, you know, they will send the, you know, imagine you sit at the, at the place where you've got the Word document, you've got an Excel spreadsheet, we will send back the copy and content edited versions. Uh, once you approve it, we then publish. Um, and we, if it's something that is an event and you're time sensitive, uh, you know, assuming there's time, we can typically do it fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and and you what's end the, up with Mitchell. What's the typical turnaround time? Let's say that that uh, someone goes in, they upload their bio, what it's about, who's their market, etc. Um, they've got their information in. You've, you know, you. They pay their hundred bucks. You've got it. And let's say they decide that um, you're going to do, you know, the editing and the cover and all that, and and it, it passes mustard. What's the typical turnaround time? You know, to be safe, mm -hmm. I, I could say one to two weeks. Okay, great. Um, two but, weeks you know, or less. As, as, yeah, two, yeah, yeah, two weeks or less. But but as I mentioned before. There was a time in which I wanted to do someone a favor, so we, we actually created the cover, did the copy and content edit, and published within 24 hours. So I, I can't promise that, right? But we, if, yeah. if somebody came in and said, hey, we've got, you know, like the, the thing I mentioned before, where there was an event that was time sensitive, got Valentine's it. Day okay, was a week so, and a half away, right? So we, so we pushed the publish button. Now, the publish button is going to have a price attached to it. Do you have kind of a set price for these books? Oh, there's two choices. Okay. Um, at the moment, the choice is either to give the book away for free. Free um, or, or fee. What's the fee? <laughs> and the fee or give it away for a buck ninety nine. Or dollar ninety nine. So if you give so, it away for buck ninety nine, the author gets fifty one percent of profit and owns copyright. Okay, and if it's for free, they don't own the copyright. Is that? The oh, they own. Oh, I'm sorry. They own copyright either way. I should have been okay. clear about that. <laughs> so, Thank you. You know, this is a, you know, this is supposed to be. Think of this as, it, 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 for you personally, you want to amplify your message and get stuff out. Think about yep. the rules you put in place for yourself. That's kind of mm -hmm. how I looked at it. You know, it's sort of like the old Gillette commercial. Now, I bought the company not just because I'm the, I'm the CEO, but I'm also the uh, I'm also a user, right? So correct. Okay, so you know, I I love this. So you've got this, and it's basically all in E E land. Is that correct? Right now. Yes. I mean, they yes. can do it. All right. So does this go up on Kindle or the other resources? Um, no, because it's it's it so it's its own separate platform um, called the Aha Amplifier, where you can then encourage people to. So this uh -huh. is the cool part. You now have a book with mm -hmm. a unique URL. And you mm -hmm. can now advertise and sh and send people to that URL, particularly if the book is free. You then, as part of your marketing plan, you encourage people to go there and share a content. Mm -hmm. And because you've included in your quotes, you've either included a hashtag or your Twitter handle or whatever, whatever you're using for social monitoring, you mm -hmm. actually know when people are sharing your content, and then you, you tweet or retweet, um, which will encourage them to, uh, to do more. No, oh, it's very cool. No, I think it's a great idea. So it's fun. All right, let's let's let's. Uh, uh, you talked about that some of the ways that authors can use it now, and I think I hope everyone's clear on the pricing because I, I I think that's always important. Um, and they can make money if they sell it. They can make money on yes. that. Or as you said, you can take it and and create print out a book. You're working that out, um, and you can have the books and resell at your um, a speaking gig which is how I sold all my books. But you, you talk about a uh, lady kind of uh, uh, to compliment um, a, a book or another asset. So what kind of other asset would you be thinking of? Oh, well, it's interesting, right? So you, you as a consultant, uh, uh, 
a conference, obviously. Um, anything where there's some interesting content you could pull together, either from the event. So with conferences, you could do it before the event or after the event. You know, before the event, it's more of a marketing purposes. After the event, you pull the best of and you're sharing it. And then you share the content because it allows the conference to last longer, and it's also the next set of content you could use to market the event for the following year. Ah, so I get, you know, my my noodle is working here right now, is that it author you to pay attention and actually pull all those keepers, and create a whole thing out of keepers, all yes. you keepers. Yeah, well, you know, what's really interesting about those that want to publish, and I, I, I think you know about the offer, I want to say, the first person who sends me a AHA amplifier, and I always use the word me and I, but it's really my team because I may not see it at right. all, but the yep. first person who submits a book and says your name, so says Dr. Judith, um, we'll yep. waive the $100 fee. And then for the next 10, we'll give a 50% discount. You just need to say Dr. Judith, and we'll just send you a coupon code to perfect to, uh, to, to make that happen. Right. That sounds great. I love that. I, I'm, I'm loving that. All right. I'm going to get my book in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think so. you get special compensation, so uh, oh. Oh, I'm not okay. sure I would have right. charged so you anyhow. I'm in the mix. <laughs> All right, we have literally two minutes left. So that you have, um, if there's, I guess there is there anything else you want to share? You wish you had. I, I'd asked you, but the other thing is that you. I've heard you say that uh, you can use this the amplification process to meet future customers on a peer level. So what in the hell does that mean? <laughs> so here's the cool part. You could, anyone who, who's thinking about the show and you've got your aha moment of the content you want to write, well, what's really fascinating is, is, is you, know, I mean, unless you write crap, because, you know, we have the ability, if it's really bad, we'll tell you it's really bad. But unless it's really, really bad, you have the ability to know that you've got a publisher and a platform you could share this content on. So now you have the opportunity to talk to anyone in the world, say, hey, listen, I'm writing a book on this topic. Can I have a five-minute interview with you? Because in five minutes, that's enough to get anywhere between two to three quotes, maybe four or five, depending mm -hmm. on how quick they talk. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's, if you get five minutes with somebody, you get a quote, and you put it, include it in your book, you've actually made a friend for a while. What if that person's your future boss or a future client or the boss of your future boss? I mean, that's pretty cool stuff. That's very cool. All right. So that wraps it up. We've, we've had an aha moment. And um, with this has been Mitchell Levy. You want to go and figure out about these aha books. I think it's a great way to repurpose, to rebrand, to push yourself out. And, um, and we'll have more about this. And I'll let you know how our experiment works. This is Judith Bryles. Thank you, Mitchell, for being with me. My pleasure. Great to be here. Thanks, Judith. All right. Talk to you later. All right. Everyone have a fabulous week. Keep writing and publishing. Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Each